Hey guys, so um, it's me, I'm Brianna, and I'm going to tell you guys about day two of my tongue piercing. I would say like some things that were going on, the bottom of my ball would like rub around my web, like down there, sometimes I'll feel it brush it and it kind of feels weird. I had a lisp, it's hard it's not hard for me to pronounce some things like if I really try and talk it's, it just sounds weird my mouth waters and my mouth is watering I haven't been drooling though in my sleep which is surprising um <clears throat> but my mouth just waters a lot I'm just getting used to it being there yesterday it was still hard for me to lift up my tongue like that I could not do that like, that was impossible and really painful but um, yesterday, I was not able to do that. Um, I was able to eat. I had fried chicken. I had a baked potato. I had a smoothie. But here's the thing. With my smoothie, it literally took me over an hour to drink a smoothie. But with the straw, since it was so thick, I went to Smoothie King. And by the way, I got the pineapple mango Greek yogurt smoothie. And I was bomb so but anyway um i just stick the straw like further back in my mouth because if i was sucking it this way my tongue like the way your tongue you just don't realize what your tongue does i guess like you're just oblivious to it till you know it's pierced but the way your tongue moves when you're doing that it it just hurts it's painful i mean it's not excruciating like i was able to do it a few times just regular but i thought well i don't want to increase irritation to my tongue so i just put the straw further back in my mouth and drink it that way and it was simple it still kind of hurt though so that's why it still took me like an hour i mean the smoothie was kind of big but not really um the baked potato is soft so that was easy and then there's sour cream and cheese and butter and i was like mm. um the fried chicken, I don't really have to do anything special with that. I could eat it. I was just trying to be cautious where my tongue was because I didn't want, like, I had it bump, like, the ring, the jewelry bumped the back of my teeth. But it was never, like, a really an actual close call of almost biting it. Um, so it wasn't really a big deal for me. You know? It was just whatevs. Soda was burning my tongue yesterday, so I had no soda. Like, that was a no. Soda was, like, the bubbles in, I don't know, it just felt, like, stingy. So, I I tried to drink soda yesterday, and it was really bad. But, anywho, guys, um, that was basically yesterday. It wasn't too bad at all. Um, but I hope that this was, like, a really good video and that, you know, you learned a few things. Um, if you have any questions, leave it below. I'll try to answer it to the best of my ability. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, guys, I will see you guys in my next video. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this. I would love to see where this channel goes. Um, and I'll show you guys what my tongue looks like. Even though I'm technically on day three, the difference between today and yesterday isn't that big. So, the bump that you see where the ring is, that's swelling. And the, the crater is normal. I'm gonna do like a more informal video for you guys because I feel like I know some so much stuff because I've had it done so many times and I know just so many hacks and tricks so I'll let you guys know all about that so just keep an eye on this channel and I'll have like a tongue piercing survival guide for you guys okay or like a tongue piercing hacks thing all right y'all I will see you in my next video bye